So even though Pipedream provides hundreds of pre-built actions, there may be cases where you need a little bit more flexibility and where code can come to the rescue. You can use code steps at any time during your workflows, and they work just like using a pre-built action step. You can choose between using Node.js, Python, Go, or even Bash in your workflow steps. So let's learn how to add a code step to our workflow. As you can see, this is a brand new workflow, and I've gone ahead and created a brand new empty step for us to use. You can already see that there's a Python step and a Node step, but you can search for steps as well. So we'll search for a Go step, and you can see there's a Go code action, and there is a Bash step as well, which will insert a Bash code step. I'm going to create a Node code step, and it'll give us a few options just to start. There's a hello world example. There's an example of passing data between steps using step exports. Lots of examples to run through. All we need to do to create a Node.js step is to click one of these examples or to start with a default run node code. And it will automatically create a Node.js step for us. In the center, you'll see that there's a text editor which you can use to edit the code in the step and you'll see a special structure that defines a component, which I will cover in a later episode. What you need to know is the run function is what is called during the step's execution. So any code you write within the run step is actually called during the workflow's execution. So for example, we can do a quick console log within our code step, and we'll say, hello world. We can test the step just like a normal step. After our node step is finished executing, we'll see a very familiar results panel. You can see the exports of the step, logs and details, and even the inputs of the step. We just use console log to log some information, the hello world string. So by clicking the logs tab, we should see the hello world string, which we do. The logs are very useful for troubleshooting or diagnosing issues with a Node.js step or any other language you like to use. And that covers the very basics of using code steps within your Pipedream workflows. You can use your favorite package manager, you can use our logging, and you can use step exports to consume or produce data downstream to other steps. And in a future episode, I'm gonna teach you about props, which generate fields for users to input information in.